Hey everyone, Eugene Kate Sith here, and today I would like to show you how to use aliases. But first, I'd like to thank everyone for all of your support here on YouTube and Twitch. Since my last video, I actually got accepted for Twitch Partner, which I couldn't have done without you guys, so thank you so much. If you haven't checked out Twitch yet, I highly suggest you do. Uh, we have a lot of fun over there. It is a great community, um, and I hope you guys uh, check it out. But without further ado, let's move on to the alias guide. So essentially what aliases are, are like, oh, actually first off, let's go over what you need. Okay, so to make this work, what you need is Windower 4. You need a working slash loaded gear swap. This is a problem a lot of people ran into with my previous uh, hotkey guide. They didn't have a working gear swap or they didn't have, they weren't on a, uh, a character that had the job or the spells required to use the things they're trying to test out So make sure you have a working gear swap that's loaded on the character. You're trying to use the alias on uh, Another big one is the shortcuts add-on uh, also helps a ton for What we are doing here? Uh, you also would want the send add-on if you're multi-boxing uh, helps out a ton uh, by sending different uh, commands or scripts to different characters other than your own and also notepad and notepad plus plus and make sure you open those in administrator so what is an alias i would say an alias is essentially a hotkey but instead of binding it um to what key you want you can instead bind it to a set of letters or words that you want the importance of this is that you can make things significantly shorter and easier to use with going out of your way to use a macro or a hotkey um instead of a specific button so an example of this is when i multi-box i use a ton of gear swap commands and window four scripts for buffing and other things um on a, a lot of different characters uh so a good example is what i used to type this out completely for example for my white mage buffing now you could just do at white mage also, but that won't matter after you make an alias. But I used to just type out every single time I used to type out slash slash send at all GSCC Fyra, which as you can imagine got pretty tedious and uh and uh repetitive and just it was too long. And my excuse for the longest time was, oh I'm practicing how to type. It's making me a better typer. Uh not really. <laughs> uh and then I finally swapped over to an alias, which let me shorten all of this to just this right and it can be even shorter if I, if I if i change the command name but essentially it changed um it turned all of this right here send it all to just sac so now whenever i want to do a like a gear swap command i just do sac and then the name of the command so another one is like era for white mage And you can basically do this for everything you have. And then the example for um, a script would have been so I just e uh, e c c. Actually, no, it would have been send at all e x e c fire up. And then now with an alias, you can set it to send all send all script fire up, right? And I would just change this into that. Right? You guys get it. Uh, you can also do it for like job abilities and weapon skills and pretty much everything in the game. Uh, example 2. If you want your white mage to use Sakuru, um, you probably have to alt tab to your white mage and either press a macro or find it in the menu and use uh, or use a send on your main and type out the entire word without translate. So this is how I used to do it. I used to do like send at all sacro and then auto translate it and then do it that way right and that i mean that works but it's obviously a lot more effort and a lot more typing what you can do is you can also add it to a macro which i'm pretty sure a lot of people do but the problem is is you run out of macros especially if you're multi-boxing you have all these macros and macro palettes and you can only have so many hotkeys you know i might i mean my hotkeys are completely full right now so it just makes it easier so i basically just changed Sacro to slash slash pro. So anytime I want to use Sacro, all I have to do on any of my characters 
because this works universally on all your characters. It doesn't matter which window you're on. Anytime I type pro, my white mage automatically uses uh, sacrosanct. Which, as you can imagine, makes things a ton easier. And then we already went through this. Simply bind it to your white mage using basically three letters you want. Yeah, and the thing is, it doesn't have to be crow. It can be anything you want. The only thing you have to be careful of is, uh, like right here, this is what I'm trying to explain, is there are some overlap, right? So like, shortcuts right now, if you do, if you do Maya on your white mage, shortcuts is already pre-programmed to have Maya be shortened to teleport Maya, right? So if you make, if you make a, an alias where your three letters to use something is Maya, you'll probably get some conflicting things going on there. So try to try to make them unique that aren't already taken by um, either the game or uh, shortcuts the gear swap. So now let's run through basically um, all of the aliases that I'm currently using. So I, I give you guys some basic examples right here but it'll be nice for you guys to see. So essentially, this is where it goes. I should show you guys first where it goes. So first off, you wanna find your um, window or file folder, or at least a shortcut to it. And then you'll find it in the scripts folder. And then you wanna find uh, your INIT. Now your INIT is probably way smaller than this, but as you can see with all these binds, I basically ran out of, of binds to use. Like, I mean, I'm at the maximum without getting like one of those fancy uh, separate key keyboards to the side. Um, I'm, I'm, ba I'm basically out of binds. So this is why I started heavily leaning into aliases. And this is why I wanted to share it with you guys because you can do so much more. For example, I like to have aliases to lot all and pass all. So I don't have to fully type out that anymore. I have aliases to automatically turn um, auto target on and off. This comes exceptionally handy in uh, Odyssey. Um, like I said before, you can turn send all into just SA, or you can turn uh, send all command just to uh, SAC and so forth. Uh, leader, this is another one. Uh, basically I have I have all of my um, all of my party members. I remember what they are in the party. So I, whenever I invite my party, it's usually in this very specific order. So whenever I type LD, it'll automatically put Ejen as leader, right? And then LD two is always Shred. LD three is always Ignis. So over time, I've just remembered who, wh which number they correspond to, right? Six is always a uh, Yarhi. Makes it a lot easier to just, you know, uh, divvy out who the party leader is when you're like entering MMM and stuff like that. You can do it for items like Forbidden Key. You can turn F key into Forbidden Key so you don't have to macro that or type it out every time. Turn it to F key. Uh, you can have your, you can basically just like script within the alias too, like right here. So whenever I want to do sneak and invisible on Ejen uh, from my red mage, I just do SI. I just type slash slash SI and then it automatic, my red mage will automatically, it'll send it to my red mage to sneak and invis me, right? Like right here. Reload your gear swap. Use a uh, the wings too. This is this has been great for uh, my Aeonic runs. You can just alias uh, every single character to use wings. But you know the downside of this is <clears throat> it's the same as hotkeys. There is a lot to remember, right? It's it comes down to a lot of like muscle memory and like how well you can remember what your hotkeys and aliases are which is i think where the true like skill component of multiboxing comes in because it's definitely not like 
a lot of people like to say, I mean, there are cases where people have fully automated bots going, but usually they can't do super hard content. Or they're just so overgeared that it, it, it's it's like it, for example like Delph and Bakery. At this point, you like characters are so much stronger that that content used to be pretty tough, but now you it's not as tough. But essentially, a lot of people just have this miscon misconception that all of these things just bought for you. But no, there's actually still a lot to do on the on the on the multi boxer side to make all of this run smoothly. And if you guys ever watch my stream, you will see that things go wrong a ton. I wipe a lot. There's a lot of, there's still a lot of trial and error. And there's a lot of things you can mess up when multiboxing that will ruin your run. But I will post this, um, all my aliases on my GitHub. They will be there by the time this video is up. Uh, pretty much sure that uh, that covers everything. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below or ask on Discord. Uh, a special shout out and thank you to my patrons, Team Chocobo, Coco Monsa, and Brayden. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I'll see you guys next video. Take care.